Pass or fail? Those stainless steel corrugations should never be exposed. If you know how to do CSST and you've got properly trained by the manufacturer, you shouldn't even be cutting that much jacket off of the CSST. Yeah, it's a little bit of a pain. I get it. But you only should be cutting that jacket back three corrugations. Rich Bay, what do you have to add to that? Uh, also, that hanger is secured to nothing and not even clamped. And he's not even using the correct um, pressure gauge to do anything. That's so awesome. Literally none of it. None of it. This is what we see every day. So this was the initial inspection to get the gas turned on so they could like get heat in this house because it was the winter time at the time. Even though I can't tell, can't feel how cold it is. Gauge is no good. What should it have been? It's a five pound gauge in 10th pound increments. Yeah, in one tenth pound increments right away. That's like goes from zero to 30 PSI. Not even close to being the right gauge at all. Fail, see you later, bye. Reinspection fee. Next picture is going to be the return inspection. The hanger's still missing a screw. The hanger's not even anchored into the floor. This was the inspection that cost this dude money and got a complaint filed against him. If you can't tell, he taped it with what? Electrical tape. It's electrical tape. Not the approved jacketing material provided by the manufacturer. Um, and oh yeah, by the way, he wasn't certified. So yeah.